Yo guys, I'm Fast Fingers and welcome to episode number 7 where we take the international today and we're going to do one of these missions. I think it's Pipe Dream. We're going to grab this trailer where it is down here at the fuel station and we're going to take it right up to the factory. Then we're going to come back, get some bricks from the warehouse and we're going to get some metal beams from here and uh, get that all up to the factory bit of a long mission today so there's going to be some cuts here and there but if we get oh what do we need so we need a saddle high is required for this okay we need to customize the international saddle high there we go purchase that yes and then we can leave the garage Right, so now we need to get down to the uh, fuel station, grab that trailer, and uh, get it back. I'm not sure which is the quickest way, to be honest, from here. I think it's... Oh, it's obviously up that way, isn't it? I was going to go around, but yes. Closer to go up and over the hill. Hopefully we shouldn't get into too many problems. It's a bit of a risky mission this because the, the fuel trailer is kind of... It, it's, it's a big trailer and we've got to take it on quite a long route. And even though our truck is pretty decent, it's still going to be a struggle even with this, especially in the mud. Some of these boulders are pretty big, to be honest. Oh yeah, look at the size of that. We ain't gonna get over that, are we? There we go, we're on our way now. There it is, there's the trailer. Let's just grab a load first. We only need 20 litres, that's not a lot. But this is the first semi-trailer that we've actually hauled in this series, so let's see how this goes. Wow, that went back way fast. There we go. We'll enjoy the little bit of music and decide which way we're going to go. Hmm. I think we need to just follow the road up. Cross the bridge. Go on here. And just keep going on this road until we get there. It's a long way, but I think we'll be all right. One thing that we do have to remember is to take the corners wide with this. Because the trailer is a lot longer than what we're used to.
God, look at that trailer, it's huge. And the wheels look tiny. Although there's a double row of them. That's weird. Right, once to say in second gear. Oh, it's even going up to third. I think we should take that all wheel drive off. Wow, it even wants to stay in fifth up that hill. Crazy. I think this is going to be a pretty straightforward run, to be honest. Now we've got the road all opened up. Let's just take this a little wide round here. Wide and slow. Oh, we just took down a sign as well. Let's go first person for a bit. Looks like it's turning to mud or a track. Another thing you can do is like Euro Truck Simulator, look out of the window at the back. That's kind of cool, cool little feature. Bit basic in here, not many creature comforts. But that doesn't matter. It's all about delivering the goods and getting paid. Let's have a look at the map. Where are we? Wow. We've made some decent progress. We're about halfway there, maybe more. Yeah, maybe two thirds of the way there. Well, this looks a bit, a bit rough. I think we're best to. Uh, that there we go get all-wheel drive on for the moment anyway checking out that mirror get that back off now Oh wow, look at the boulders in the road here. Now we turn her right down here.
Oh, wow, look, there's another little bridge down there. I'm actually not sure where that goes to. Right, so I'm not sure where we put this. But I think we need to reverse it up a bit. God, look at that thing. I think we can move that later on. Uh, some sort of clipping thing going on. The building. Let's straighten that up. We've delivered it. Right, so we need bricks and uh, bricks and metal beams. Right, let's just have a look. Where are we getting the uh, bricks from? Uh, is it this one that we're doing? Pipe Dream, yep. Oh, so the metal beams are from the warehouse. And the brick, should I say. So we need a trailer. And then we need to get across there. Damn. We've got to go right round here. That's crazy. I think what we might do then is... Ah, there's a flatbed trailer there. Could we get the two bricks in the... Hmm, interesting. So, what we can do is... Recover back to the garage. Leave the garage. Start the engine. And break off, even. We could go get that trailer, put some metal uh, planks on it. I think it's a four slot. Let's just check. So I think it was a semi flatbed. Oh, it's got five slots. Wow. That'll be all right. Oh, it looks like that's too high for it. Hmm. Oh, so we need a saddle low. Right, okay, so we need to go change this. Right, customize frames, uh, saddle low. Right, let's get out of here. Oh, we'll change the time to morning as well. Just to make it look a bit prettier. Right, well, we'll head on up to the, uh, to grab the trailer, grab the metal planks, and, uh, then we'll come back and go get some bricks. Right, so we're just coming into town now, and, uh, we're keeping an eye open for this trailer. It should be down here to the right of us. Let's go around the back of the church.
Knock somebody's wheelie bin over. Oh my god, what's it got? Oh, it has two bricks on it already. Hmm. That's a trailer. Right, we want to remove... Uh, do you know what I want to do here? Let's unpack the cargo, and I don't want to totally get rid of the uh, the goods on the back. So we've got five slots, we've got one brick, so we need to get three of them off, basically. But I want to lay them here so that we can come back and get them if we need them. What we're going to do is we're going to crane them off. We're going to activate the things. Uh, and I'm using an Xbox controller now. Oh, let's leave them down. So then we're going to unload these. Bring them round to the right. Put them out of the way. Oh, how do we detach? Our release winch is A. Oh, that's the gears. What am I doing? X to crane mode, right, okay. It is a bit <laughs> awkward to work at first, but you do get used to it eventually. Attach that, and then we are gonna try and lift it up. Oh, it's lifted it, okay. Just turning it now with the arrow keys, twisting it round a bit. And then to lower is X. Let's raise it up a little bit and just move it across. There we go. Right, so we need one of these off. I'm hoping that we're going to be able to reach this. But I don't know if it's going to lift it. There we go. Uh, how do we lift now? That's it, isn't it? But we might have to pull this closer to us. So it'll be too heavy, the crane. And then this is going to have to go over here. See how it's the cranes straining a bit? Of all that weight on it. Twist it around a bit. There we go. So now we can just... Uh, Exit out of here. Restore the crane. And it's put the anchors back as well. Right, cool. So now we can set off. The crane's pretty simple once you get used to it. But now I think we've got enough room for bricks. And we've got enough room for... Oops, we're going the wrong way. 
uh, metal planks we need. That's it. Get it round here. We might go on a little adventure here. We might go around a different way. Oh wow, totally misjudged that and just totally scraped that car. Right, metal pipes, yes. Oh, we can't can't get anything else from here. So, where are we going? So we need to get over to the warehouse over uh, the right hand side here but we are gonna oh dear it's either a long way around on the road or it's even a longer way around that way when we're going that way anyway there is no real short way I mean even if we went down through this uh I think that's a drilling site or something. Then across up here, it's going to take just as long. So we might as well go around the road. And if we follow this road up here, past the gas station. And then over the bridge. And then we'll just cross over down here. This is the same road that we've been taking for the last two episodes, I think. Oh well, out of it I suppose. Right, let's start the jaunt back. Right, so we're coming up to the warehouse now guys, not far off anyway. I uh, I knew that <laughs> that journey was going to be pretty much uneventful there, so I've cut it out because it, it was very boring. Whereas now, this might turn a little bit more... I don't know, we'll just have to see how this goes. Because we're going a little off-road here. Let's see how this uh, international fares with a semi-trailer on the back, in the mud. So far so good, we haven't had to have the diff locks on yet. This is where it could bottom out here, the trailer. Wow, still going. Look at that. And we've only got all terrain tyres on. That's not bad at all. We can't moan at all at that. She did well. Right, so we need to get some bricks from here. And then get that further up the up the map for the warehouse. It's a bit muddy there.
We're going to have to get rid of one of these, uh, that box, I think, as well. So we can fit the bricks on at least. So let's unload before we go in there. Uh, remove cargo. No, not that one. That one. Bricks. Uh... Actually, I don't think we've tied that other <laughs> one down, to be honest. So, we forgot to uh, unpack and repack the cargo. Now it's fixed to the bed. Wow, I'm surprised we didn't lose that. Oh, we need to work out a route that we're going. I don't really want to go around here. That's an oil tanker. But it's just a trailer, is that? But it's either going back up here and round on the road, or we could actually try... Oh, that's going to be really boggy down there. And that's going to be crazy getting up there. Mm. But we would cut out all that. Let's go for it. But I do think this is going to end in tears. Let's lay that markers down. So we have got a lot of weight on here. And I know that we said that the tires have been pretty good, but are they this good? I don't know. I'm going to hit that wall out. Yeah. So this is going to make things a little more interesting. So depending on how long it takes us to get this up there is dependent on how much I cut out of the video. Oh, now the rain comes. That's just what we need. Well, she's keep creeping through this bit of mud, so maybe we'll be all right. I don't know. We're soon going to find out, though. I think we will probably have to have diff locks on, low gears. And as the saying says, what goes down must come up. Or what goes up must come down. Oh, look how boggy this is. We 
we're going to cut the corner there. There's the oil tanker. Well, we aren't getting that out today. Let's try and keep on the edge a little bit. Them roots are pretty deep. starting to get bogged down now and I'm thinking maybe just going straight over this here I'm going straight through them trees I was hoping that the grass would uh, give me some traction wow To be honest, I really don't think we did bad to get through there. <laughs> because that is some real deep mud. Real deep mud. That was a, a nice mission, that, actually. We had to go a couple of places, pick up a trailer. We've used the crane. We got into some deep mud. I've done well. I'm pleased with that. Made some good progress. Cargo management. There we go. Available for installation, available for your purchase. What's that mean? I don't know. I don't know what that gave us, to be honest. Did it give us anything? Might have given us some upgrades or something. I don't know. I think what we'll do is we'll get this back to the garage, sell the trailer, and then that will be it for today. But we still need to do these uh, roadblocks here. I think probably what I'll do, guys, is I'll do these off screen and then you're not watching a boring uh, episode of just unblocking the roads. But that's where we go to the next place, the Smith Smithville Dam. But really, what we need to do is all these, the missions that we can do, not a drill. All right, so this one, oh, we've got a construction rig semi trailer. That, oh, that's that big trailer. <laughs> Yeah, so the big trailer, we've got to get to the drilling site, which is there. That's going to be a nice episode. But look, we get 7,400 for that. Right, guys, if uh, you enjoyed the video, then please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, then please do. And don't forget to hit that, hit that notification bell so then you get informed of when I release another video. And uh, until next time, guys, peace out.